welcome back to my channel lovely people so i arrived canada on the 17th of april 2023 and this was me just coming into canada as a permanent resident guys if you've not seen my relocation vlog kindly check through my channel we did all our immigration stuff got our bags our luggages and this was we like in Ruba on the way to my sister-in-law's place Canada is a very beautiful country. I'll be taking you through everything I did in the next 24 to 48 hours. So we got home, we got settled. The kids were already like blending in already. What do kids know? It's none of their business. I was the one that was going through all the stress and everything like that. I settled them in nicely and then it was time to walk. I knew that I had to get everything sorted almost immediately. But we did rest we landed in the afternoon and in the evening we rested a bit i made a mental note of everything i needed to do and all i wanted to do and the next day was all bright and cheery and we set out to go to service ontario service canada and then the bank my first stop was going to be service ontario don't worry guys we are going together i landed in ontario canada and this is around the mississauga area of ontario where i stayed with my sister so i just decided to like do everything everything i wanted to do just before i'll go along to my own place and then guys before we actually went to service ontario we decided that it was time for us to pick up our keys we got our house like some days before we landed but we still wanted to like stay in my with my sister because of course family is family it'd be better for you to like settle in there first but we still got our keys this was we just going to my neighborhood where i stay currently to meet the landlady it's a three bedroom townhouse and we met with the landlady very very nice person like she's been a blessing to me since i got here so this was when we got the keys and it was snowing a bit i just wanted to show you a little bit of that so back to service ontario we just took a detour because the landlady called us that she was available so we just quickly went to pick the keys got to see the house don't worry house warming party coming soon never mind i was just kidding like my house tour is coming soon just after this video i'll be posting the house tour so please subscribe if you've not subscribed because you want to check out everything i'm going to be posting okay you don't want to miss anything we're almost at service ontario and like i said canada ontario is a very beautiful place this was my first time very first time in canada i've been to other parts of the world but canada or this part of north america is my very first time so we are arriving at service ontario it's located at this outlet like mall there are different outlets or sorry like different points just look for the one that is closest to you and this was the one that was closest to us at like where i stay in mississauga or where i stayed in mississauga when i landed so service ontario helps you to get your health cards which is very important especially if you have kids so that was something that was like top for me and my sister told me like we should get our health cards almost immediately nobody's praying to be sick or anything but these are some of the very important documents you need to have once you land so for me it was my social insurance number my health card which you get from um service ontario so service ontario is like peculiar to the province and we got everything of course i couldn't show you everything that transpired because you have to keep things private and all that so we finished up there we did about an hour at service ontario got our health card registered they give you a piece of paper later on you get the card itself in your mailbox and this was when we arrived at service canada that was my sister or let me say my sister in love my husband we we're both in the car and i was at the back with the kids so this was us when we were arriving at service canada service canada is where you get like the most important number you need to have if you are in north america in america is almost the same thing 
I can't remember. It's, yeah, I think it's about the same thing. Your SIN. So it's very important you have it. And guys, this is me. I couldn't care less <laughs> at this point. No big nothing. I have been rocking this hair like this. Almost when I landed. Like, I was stressed and overwhelmed. And this was not the time for me to be rocking any wig. I was just rocking my natural hair as is. And this is a, are the kids with me in the back. Um, We stayed in the car whilst my husband and his sister went to get information because because going up and down with these kids is a lot so at any point i'll just be like please let me just chill when i'm ready or when i know what it entails when we need to come out we come out so that was how i managed like the first few days and we're just chilling in the car i'll just give the kids their tabs my phones play as much as you want eh i don't even want to know what is going on at this point so I just managed with them and they were very sweet by the way my little mama was sweet no issues or anything like that and i was just checking myself out anyway so it was time for us to go in they came to call me with the kids that it was time for us to come into service canada and to do our social insurance number and we did that we spent about one hour doing that we went back to drop the kids at home because my next stop was at the bank like guys <laughs> it was back to back at this point i was exhausted i had to take my baby with me of course because she's used to just like being with me and all that and i didn't want to stress anybody they were okay with the boys at home and i was with little mama here we opened our bank account in one hour we were kind of like sorted this was when we were just waiting for the banking officer to come back with all my cards and every everything like that we're just catching cruise you, you guys know and i was just like bonding with her so this was the bank i opened my account with td bank it was close to me and i just felt okay opening my bank account with them there are several banks you can use by the way and this was how i spent my first 24 to 48 hours when i landed in ontario mississauga canada so let me just take you around this shopping complex or this outlet and it has a lot of shops i can't remember what it is called i'm sure by the time i go around i know the name is somewhere there are different shops all around there's canadian tire there are different shops to buy stuff there are other banks there are different things you can do in this shopping like outlets not a shopping mall just like an outlet food and everything yes i remember the name now it's called middleville let me just go around so that i can see if the signpost is somewhere let's wait let's wait let's wait yes that is it middleville town center yes that is it and after waiting for like one minute my uber arrived and it was time for me to go home so here is my uber waiting for me <laughs> let me quickly run along so i'll see you guys in subsequent videos don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share i'll see you in subsequent ones Bye.